Hello Hot Wheels fans. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about the effect of altering the volt voltage or current on a modified Hot Wheels booster. Uh, I have here one of the uh, boosters that I've modified uh, to run on AC and we're going to run it on AC but instead of using one of the uh, single voltage adapters like this three volt adapter we're going to use a multiple voltage adapter. You can see here it has settings for three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, and nine volts. So we're going to plug that in uh, to the wall outlet and then we are going to measure the voltage that it's actually putting out before we connect it to our booster. And we're going to do that by just connecting it to a uh, pigtail that I bought on eBay, making sure those contacts are not touching right there. And then looking at a multimeter to see what the voltage is. So we've got our multimeter set to 20 volts DC, and we're gonna go ahead and set that to uh, three volts. And why am I not getting any voltage? There we go, so there's the nine volt setting. You can see it's pretty close to nine volts. I don't know if you can read that there. It's showing 8.8 uh, .8 volts. And there's the seven and a half volts, pretty close. There's our six volts. There's the four and a half, which is really closer to five volts, as you can see on the multimeter. And then there's the three volts. And you can see it's putting out a little more than three volts, but that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and attach that to our Power Wheels booster and see what we get. So we're just gonna ignore the decimals here and just consider it three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, and nine, just like it says on the uh, adapter. So let's go ahead and unplug it from our multimeter and get that out of the way. And we'll start with the three volt setting, okay? So let's go ahead and make sure that's set to three volts. Plug it into our Booster and see how it runs. So you can see it runs pretty good. I'm going to turn that off and give you a better view of the booster. Let me do that right now. Give you a view of our track layout here. There we go. So now you can see a little better. <clears throat> and like I said, this is on the uh, three volts. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. Now let's go ahead and crank it up to the next level. Four and a half volts. And we'll hear it get a little noisier as a result. There it is. You can probably hear it. Spinning a little faster. Let's try that again now. There's four and a half volts. Let's try that again. There we go. So, now let's crank it up to six volts and see what happens. Let's try going even faster at seven and a half volts.
and now all the way up to nine volts. So there you can see the result of running it up from three to four and a half to six to seven and a half and nine volts. And you can see that at nine volts it was way too powerful for this track setup throwing the cars off the track. Now one thing I wanted to tell you is that this particular booster is only putting out 300 milliamps which as you can see is enough to power this booster at all those different voltages. But because it has limited current output at 300 milliamps, it doesn't really have enough to push the cars out in rapid fire. So if you're trying to launch the cars in rapid succession, you may have a problem with only 300 milliamps. So let's go and see what I mean by putting several cars in succession. And we'll see how this adapter manages with five cars in succession. Let it get up to speed. And here we go. Now let's try it with a booster that is the same voltage, three volts, but has one full amp of power. So not just 300 milliamps, but a full amp. I'm gonna have to scoot this track up because there's a little shorter cord on this, but you should still be able to get a good view. Let me collect some of these cars. And give it another go. Let's wind it up. So this is a full amp. Five cars lined up. Try that again. I don't know if you can see much difference there, but I will tell you that as the amperage increases, your ability to push more cars through in rapid succession will increase as the recovery time of the booster decreases. Anyway, I hope that was helpful and gives you some idea of the difference in modifying uh, your booster with different voltages and currents. I wouldn't recommend overclocking the booster too far. If it's a booster that normally runs with two D cell batteries, for example, at three volts, I would say you wouldn't want to go over uh, double that or six volts uh, for any sustained length of time. Anyway, I hope you uh, find this helpful and informative. Enjoy your Hot Wheels. Still fast, still fun. Thank you.